When doing a backup with Retrospect, you have a couple of different ways of handling your backup media. You can do a normal backup, which copies only the files that are new or changed since the previous backup. The normal backup operation is the default. You can also override your normal backup with something called a recycle backup. The recycle backup erases everything on your backup and starts all over again. Retrospect offers a couple of different ways of performing a recycle backup. The first thing we can look at is by going to the media option or media sets option on the left side of the screen. When we choose media sets, you'll find a button that says recycle. Whichever media set is currently highlighted can be recycled just by clicking on the recycle button. When you click on the recycle option, Retrospect will immediately erase the contents of that backup so that the next time the backup is run using that particular media set, Retrospect will recopy the files from your source drive into that destination media set. You can also manually perform recycle backups using a backup schedule. By going into the scripts menu on the left side of the screen, we can choose a backup script. The backup script can have a source of your choice, it can have one or more destinations, and you can actually have no schedule at all. You can, when you set up a schedule, you have the option of choosing your media action. No media action will copy the files that are new or changed since the previous backup. Skip to new member will actually ask Retrospect to display a media request dialog box so that you can insert a new piece of media for that next backup operation. Start New Media Set will create a new media set with a new name so you can take your old media set off-site. And Recycle erases the existing media set so that you can restart your backup and copy your files all over again. You also have the ability to manually run a backup script. And when you manually run a backup script, you have a choice of selecting the backup media set that you'd like to use. And then you have the option of selecting the type of operation you want it to run. So if I choose the My NAS Backup, and I choose Recycle Media Set, when I click Backup, it will erase that backup media set and start all over again. 